How to fix total identified windows installation zero in windows. Total identified windows installation zero error in windows error means that the windows installer could not detect any existing windows installations on your computer's hard drive. This could happen if your hard drive is new, formatted, or corrupted. Don't worry, I can help you fix this error with some possible solutions. One solution is to rebuild the PCD, boot configuration data, with the windows installation disk or recovery drive. The PCD is a file that contains information about how to boot windows. If the PCD is missing or damaged, the installer may not be able to find the existing windows installation. To rebuild the PCD, you need to follow these steps, boot from the windows installation disk or recovery drive and select repair your computer. Choose troubleshoot and and command prompt. Type the following commands and press enter after each one. Botrek slash fix for, Botrek slash fix boot, Botrek slash scanos, Botrek slash rebuild. If you see a message that says total identified windows installations, zero, you need to run these additional commands. Beat it slash export c colon backslash bcd backup, a trip c colon backslash boot backslash bcd hrs, ren c colon backslash boot backslash bcd bcd dot hold, Botrek slash rebuild. You should see a message that says successfully scanned windows installations and a number of identified windows installations. Type Y to add them to the boot list and press enter. Restart your computer and remove. The disk or drive. Another solution is to use a third-party tool like AOMA Partition Assistant Professional to rebuild the MVR, Master Boot Record, which includes the BCD file. This tool can help you repair the MVR in Windows Vista, XP, 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11 under the Windows Recovery Environment. To use this tool, you need to follow these steps, download and install AOMA Partition Assistant Professional on another working computer. Launch the program and click Make Bootable Media in the left pane. Follow the wizard to create a bootable USB drive or CD slash DVD, boot your computer from the bootable media and enter the main interface of AOMA Partition Assistant Professional. Right click on the system disk and select Rebuild MVR. Choose the proper MVR type for your current operating system and click OK. Click Apply and proceed to execute the operation. Restart your computer and remove the bootable media. A third solution is to perform a system restore with a restore point that was created before the error occurred. A system restore can help you undo system changes that may have caused the error. To perform a system restore, you need to follow these steps, boot from the Windows installation disk or recovery drive and select repair your computer. Choose troubleshoot and then advanced options. Click system restore and select your username. Choose a restore point from the list and click next. Confirm your restore point and click finish. Wait for the system restore process to complete and restart your computer. A fourth solution is to reinstall Windows 10 if none of the above solutions work for you. Reinstalling Windows 10 can help you fix any corrupted or missing system files that may cause the error. However, this will also erase all your personal files and settings, so make sure you back up your important data before proceeding. To reinstall Windows 10, you need to follow these steps, boot from the Windows installation disk or recovery drive and select install now. Accept the license terms and click next. Choose custom, install Windows only, advanced. Select the partition where you want to install Windows 10 and click next. If you don't have any partitions, click new and then apply to create one. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. Restart your computer and set up your preferences. 